Could you? I love you, you monster! Don't come near me! Hot on the trail of controversy, Bloodlines sees the conclusion of Cassandra and Darius' battle against the brutal Persian Order of the Engines. After forcing the players down a particular narrative pathway, check my last video featuring Mega Short Fuse to find out all about it. Ubisoft cleans its hands of babies, Persians, and old man Darius in one fell swoop. Over three, four hours that I enjoyed. Uh, no. If there's any sort of emotional investment I still hold on to, it is not because of the quality of the writing, goodness no. It must only be due to the hundred hours spent in the world. And even then, after Shadow Heritage, the whole Odyssey had on me chafed. But I'll make an attempt to look at this last episode on its, of its first major DLC on its own questionable merits. Certainly, Bloodlines had several moments. From its dark, blood-soaked beginning that sees Darius' child, Natak is killed, and Cassandra's child, Elpidios, abducted. And that's after a particularly grueling battle with a pair of deadly ancients who nearly killed the old assassin himself. Natakis was a soulmate to my Cassandra, and her pain at his loss, magnified by Elpidios missing, was a punch to the gut. Or would have been, if Natakis had any personality, any chemistry with Cassandra, anything at all going for him. Add to that Cassandra's explosion of guilt, who despite her promise to Darius, to protect their children, broke down under Natakis' pleas to go back for his father. Praise for actress Melisanti Mahut, who can sell anything on the script, no matter how badly written. What follows is a Cassandra lost in her grief and rage, a whirlwind of fury and vengeance, an unstoppable force like never before. Or, you know, like every other time since you're the one controlling her and nothing really changes in terms of her own power. And your own abilities to do whatever with her. The Morgis, leader of the Order of the Ancients, miscalculated this one, yes, yes, yes he did. Before too long, Messenia runs red with the blood of the Persians and their Spartan dogs. There's a quest to two or five of busy work, something about freeing up an Athenian general in order to gather the necessary forces to fight the ancient Spartan allies. That all comes to a close in tragedy for the Athenians, who end up being little more than a distraction, which allows Cassandra to sneak into Amorgus's stronghold. Before I get into Amorgus' last stand, I'm not getting into it, I'll say a few words about one of the more interesting quests about halfway through the DLC. The last Magi sees Cassandra come face to face with a Persian diplomat, master orator, and the second most powerful ancient still alive. It's an interesting discussion the two of them have, and it showed a shadow of what I've loved about the game. No joke. If only they stuck to this stone for the rest of the first blade. Or for the first two thirds of it. Anyway, once that's done away with, we face the big bad, have a boring boss battle that ends in forgiveness, tears, and my favorite, murder. What Cassandra does next is all too logical. Unless you play Odyssey as a particular brand of evil bastard, the Eagle Bearer is ultimately more or less heroic, especially towards members of her own family. For my playthrough especially, it was an understandable thing she did, sending Elpidios and Darius away for the baby's own safety. My Cassandra failed her mother, could not save Alexius, and as a result, both of them died. After Natakis was killed, because of another one of her mistakes, what else was she to do, other than the most selfless thing? Let the boy go with a man who is both like and unlike her. Darius, who knows what loss is, for his own mistake cost him his wife and girl, but who also managed to save his son, and kept him alive and safe over decades of evading the order of the engines. It's the right thing to do. Or maybe it isn't. But my Cassandra, haunted by guilt, made that choice. On her own. Now, scratch that. Everything I said is bullshit! It was an exercise in justification, in making excuses for one of the worst DLCs I've ever played, which robs the player of all choice, which breaks the core tenant of Odyssey, which was, yes, all about giving the player the choice of picking Cassandra's story. And what for? Let me tell you, because Ubisoft decided they needed 
really badly to connect this game to the rest of the franchise in the most idiotic way possible. You know what, Ubisoft? Write a damn book about it. That would have worked so much better for you. Overall score, 9 out of 10. Not enough breastfeeding. No, I'm not scoring it. I don't want to be any meaner than I already was. At any rate, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye! You'll ask why. And while you'll never know me, know this. You are my son. And I'll always fight for you. You and those that will come after.